this is just uh the cabinets not finished i still got to put the little trim piece on one two and three but i was just coming to y'all to show y'all an update because i'm not really filming right now uh it's dark i got my camera running on live just in case somebody come over here but i got the live on private just in case somebody come over here and try to do something to me like they did earlier today uh we'll have a video recording of it so yeah anyway i was just showing y'all what's the update this still has to be painted some doors still have to be made for it but i still need to sand it but uh yeah what you call it is looking good in the neighborhood i think i need to buy another piece uh across there i haven't decided i think yeah i think i have decided what i'm gonna make my cabinets out cabinet doors out of because i already got the wood so child i don't know what you was talking about <laughs> what you gonna call it but hey, i'm about to cut the last piece for this uh over here i messed up that piece i had cut it too short so i had to make another one so i'm about to cut that and i'm gonna just i don't know if i'm gonna paint tonight y'all it's supposed to rain tomorrow 80 percent chance of rain uh i don't know if i feel like staying up tonight and working and painting and the sooner I paint this the sooner I could put some clothes in it and leave put the stuff in there and leave it there but it's gonna rain tomorrow so what I could do is paint tonight and turn the heater on so I'm gonna see y'all I'm gonna see if I'm gonna paint okay bye the new piece I just cut is too short, too, but ain't nobody gonna know it. So all I'm gonna do is just push it up. And that piece is cut crooked, it ain't perfect. Y'all, nobody's gonna know, okay? And if they do, let them try to do this to themselves. This is my hair in a square. <laughs> Trent and Ellie, this is my hair in a square shelf. And it's going to be good enough for me. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm going to nail this up here. It's a little too short, but oh well. It's going to be all right. Fill on both sides to make sure, and then I might have to pull it in a little bit. working in the van I was getting ready to sand the shelf I bought some sandpaper I didn't realize it was this thin but anyway we're gonna work with what we got I propped up so I'm just gonna go over the rough edges so, we're not doing that much sanding even though I don't know how I got this wood. How this wood was just took it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm looking outside. Make sure ain't nobody trying to sneak up on me. It's late, like, I think it's about 10 o'clock. Everybody else in the house. In the neighborhood. I'm just getting any rough edges off. I thought this was a grittier. Sandpaper, but it's not. it we still have to brace this y'all it's not it's not screwed in braced in this sandpaper is not gritty But I think it'll get you like the splinter. I'm folding the sheet over. Okay, y'all, I am getting ready to go to bed soon. It's like 11, 15. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm not going to paint tonight. I'm going to fill my holes with wood putty. Let that dry. Tomorrow is supposed to rain. But I could kind of fix stuff in the van where I could paint tomorrow around stuff so i might do that um where yeah i might do that and paint tomorrow uh and have the heat on while it's raining so i am going to fill the nail holes and the gaps with wood putty and pretty much let that, how you open this thing? I'm gonna pretty much let that sit overnight. 
I already was using this for glue. I didn't want to buy a scraper, so I'm pretty much going to lift it. Seal the holes. I might go over them again. A couple of times tomorrow. Yeah, let me look over here because make sure ain't nobody stopping. I got to keep my eye on my surroundings. Yeah, I got to keep my eye on my surroundings. So this is what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to fill these holes. Make sure you hit your nails in and fill your holes. If you still feel a little head of a nail, just hit it in with the hammer. And then... Fill that in with some wood putty. You might have to fill it in more than once because it's going to sink in. Sand it a little and fill it in again. So that's why I'm not going to paint tonight because I want to make sure I'm doing this. Ain't no point in painting and not spending you spending your money but you're not getting the best results that you could get out of it so i am going to finish this y'all i'm locked up in the van I am about to go to bed. I got my bed made. It's 12 midnight. I got everything put up. The tools is put up. I filled the holes. I got a lot of holes at the bottom. Or uh, nails I need to nail in. I didn't want to make all that noise tonight. So, I'll do it tomorrow. I see some things about the shelf I would do different if I had to do it over again. And I will have to do it over again one day because I will be building out another vehicle one day.
y'all, by the way, I'm eating beef jerky. Um, I got a box of stuff over there. I don't feel like fooling with it. I could have had some cheese with this. But I'm about to go to bed. I hope I can find my lighter for my propane tank. I'm going to turn on the heat for a few minutes just to get the mist out the air. It's very foggy outside. It says 80% chance of rain tomorrow. I hope it don't rain. I want to paint this. Anyway, y'all, let me see if I can find that lighter for my propane tank. I be forgetting that I'm recording and I'm not live because I'm so used to being live all the time. I just start uh, using my hand to smooth it in. Feel the hole in Singing over there tomorrow. And I might try to feel over it again. Sometime. After people feel holes. They still. See the little indentation. Because you got to feel it more than once. I hope y'all had a good day today. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Thumbs up the video. Leave lots of comments down below. Press the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, hit always, and come back for another video. 
Bye now. Thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, and it's like 3 p.m. after 3 p.m. I've been up for a while, but I haven't been up and out and about. It's drizzling outside. Not pouring down raining, but like a continuous drizzle, so I can't work outside today. But I am inside of the van, and I am about to... I got my bed down here. I'm about to lay down. I mean, not lay down. Pull this mattress up and see what I could do. Let me show y'all what we're working with. So last night, I plug the holes with some wood uh filler and i need to sand those down and maybe i could start painting i'm gonna make a little room up in here some kind of way we need to put that brown paper down on the floor so we won't get no paint on it but we gonna do something today y'all even if we paint the inside of everything we're gonna do something today working here some kind of way and get something done even if i don't do number edit videos today but yeah so i want to get some painting done and i need to eat something so that's what i'm about to okay y'all it's uh i'm in the van it's raining outside i got the mattress flipped up where i could work in this space i just got through sanding this area down sanding this sanding that uh i had to fill a couple of holes that i didn't have filled already that i had to hammer the nails in so i'm waiting on this to dry and i'm gonna sand it down uh i got my pile of stuff right there to sweep outside i was about to start painting uh in the inside and then i was like you know what I'm still going to have to sand, so I'd rather get all the sanding out the way before I start painting. It's about to be 5 o'clock, so um, I'm going to be working in the dark tonight. So let's I'm do probably going to see a glare from the light. I got a couple of more spots. Y'all, this paper, this sandpaper wasn't the right sandpaper is too thin um, so If you want your stuff to look good, which I'm not saying my stuff gonna look, y'all. This is not the best job that I could have did on this. I mean, it's gonna look all right, but I actually could have did a better job on this. Sometimes the second time around. Sweeter than the first. So, and I didn't have all the correct tools and all that stuff. So, the second time around, this gonna be good enough for now. This is good enough for now.
And my cousin told me to use a thicker piece of wood down here for trim. I didn't listen to him. And now I wish I would have listened to him because, I, I mean, this is okay, but I could have used a thicker piece of wood. But I didn't listen to him. Now I wish I would have listened to him because this tank uh, sticks out a little bit from making a door. Since I added this, I think it's going to fit with the door. But if I'd have added a thicker piece of wood like he said... It would have definitely fit. So I didn't listen to him because I decided to go with the birch. And the birch would have been 50, $58. But uh, now I wish I would have listened to him. You ask the person a question that's a professional. You ask them for a reason. So if you're going to ask them, you should listen. So I should have listened. Uh, I pretty much got everything sanded down. I'm tired. Y'all see all the dust flying, up, flying around. I'm tired. If it ain't done, it's going to be done. If it ain't good enough, it's going to be good enough. I'm tired. I'm ready to start painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this down with a damp towel just to get any dust and towel over here. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm going to put some water on it. I can't see what y'all seeing. Cause I got y'all turned upside down, but I'm gonna put some water on this, and I'm just gonna lightly go over this just to get the dust off. I'm just gonna go over everything with a damp rag. I'm going to pretty much start painting in the inside first. Save the outside for last. But I want to go. I'm going to let me sweep all this dust out of these shelves. Now, this shelf system is not perfect because. I got some nails sticking out. This cabinet is gonna have cabinet shelf, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Even though it's gonna have uh, doors to it, you want it to look all right, kind of pretty decent when you open it up. You want it to look congruent. Like one unified piece. 